。哎，大家好，你们最近怎么样？我是 Thomas 老师。呃，最近我去台北，我去台北师范大学给这里的人一个大师课，所以现在我我想和你分享这个视视频。嗯。呃、uh, ，如果你喜欢这个视频，新闻 subscribe， 新闻订我的 bell， please like the video， so I can add、uh, more content in the future。所以下次见，大家，拜拜。Gorgeous. I mean, so many convincing, beautiful things. You know,、um, I I think what I'd like to work on with you today is I mean, what what I want to just take a step back on. And just sort of acknowledge in this piece and other pieces by Chopin, there, it's really like a musical narrative, or which is a fancy way of saying it's an interesting story, you know. And any interesting story has, or in, interesting movies. If you've seen any interesting movies lately, they all have, they all play with the same idea. They they're expecting us to think something, and then they they change, and that's surprising, you know. In this. Chopin、um, piece, it you know there's these various sections that all do their own thing. They all do. They all have, a, I think, a different kind of rubato or a different feeling. So, what I want to try to do with you in this short time today is find places to go further with all of those ideas. You know, there are sometimes when the music can really interrupt. And sometimes where it can float and, and so forth. So we'll we'll talk about all the all those things in a second.、Um, when you when when you start this, can you can you start this again? I think what's important is that it doesn't like that, but it's tapered. Everyone is tapered way. Can we try that? Can you hear this? Try to hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Good. And then what I want you to think about is use the rest as an interruption. Ba 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 ba. Almost you're you're overly excited. Try it again. One more time. Same place. See, I want. 
found that to be shocking, which I think it is. I think it is shocking. Um, then the other thing about Chopin, which he starts to get in here, is the fact that he's also obsessed with counterpoint. So I need to hear that, and then I want to hear the answer in your left hand, okay? Go from there. this 
this place that goes to B flat, right? We, we've had this counterpoint-ish place. So that's part of the point I'm trying to make today, is that each place has its own identity, has its own thing it's trying to do. And, and then it just it creates so, so much more interest, I think, you know? Then we finally have the second theme. Can you play some of the second theme? You know, so in general, it's a little bit too. The, the level of the sound, first of all, is a little bit over the right hand. Yeah. So that's the first thing. I think the second thing to think about is whenever you play a melody in Chopin, you you don't want to make it sound complicated. You, you actually want to find the, the most clear way to um, play it simply. Yeah. So I want to see if we can find that as well. Can you try it again with that in mind? I think instead of trying to hear notes, try to So when you go up, for instance, that's very exposed. You want to make sure that it's supported with this. You know? If you are a soprano and if you have to sing that C sharp, it's very exposed. And you need that form. If not, you feel like yeah. Ironically, I think it's the same with piano playing. You want to support that. Okay. You just try um, some other phrase before that, and then we'll move on. Beautiful. This 
goes back to what I was mentioning before about repeating yourself, right? I feel like right now you're taking each reiteration and just doing exactly the same, but there's none of this happening behind it. I think there should be, yeah. So there's like a rhetoric behind why Chopin would repeat himself. Can we go from that was there? Can we go from here? very interesting actually because you know the, this theme that's emerging is from the beginning again but it's infected by this left hand that is from the development so so it, very simply don't don't play the left hand so soft because it's accompanying the right hand it's not like before here there are two different people trying to get at two different things they, they do merge here but let it let them fight a little bit Let's experiment with that. I don't know if it'll work, but let's let's try. It. <laughs> sure, whatever is convenient. Notice 
notice just how different that is, actually. It really is different than before. It's much more beautiful, and it actually is more anjing. So what does that tell me? It tells me your left hand is telling your right hand what to do, but it should be the opposite, okay? Can you remember what you just did and try to just change the roles there? One more time, both hands. Some sections are about counterpoint, maybe it's about um, something leading, maybe it's about repeating a phrase, you know? Sometimes Chopin repeats himself quite a bit. And I think when there's repeating in music, in general, with these romantic composers, there's a, it's a kind of intensity. It's not the opposite, yeah. Um, that's the first thing, and then knowing when to be stricter with the rhythm, like in those syncopated places I was telling you, and then knowing when you should just let it rip. Lastly, what we did with the right hand was that we, we made sure we knew that the right hand was leading there and that the left hand was following before it was sort of the opposite. But when you switch gears like that, I think it helps a lot. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. 